This is Tacoma Park, Sheridan Street, and Sligo Mill Road. In retaliation for filing a complaint in Tacoma Park against a sergeant assaulting me on April 2020, the Tacoma Park administration has decided to retaliate on this area as you can see for almost a month now we have been complaining to the administration of the park and planning and code enforcement about illegal dumping these boulders all this trash in the wooded areas on Sligo Mill Road has been neglated and denied by the administration, not the workers, but by the administrators of Tacoma Park. They have just refused to come out and clean up this wooded area that they are in control of. And they refuse to turn it over to the Montgomery County Park and Planning Department to clean it up. Three weeks ago, I came out and I cleaned up the road behind my structure and requested through the administration of park and planning to come and pick up the waste off of their street. That's which we've been sitting here for almost two and a half weeks. Not only that, I have the police, the fire department, trying to harass me but as you see a couple days ago a gentleman came out here and used a chainsaw on a tree there were once cameras down here and they came and removed it this is the trash that came off of this street here that I cleaned up all the shrubbery that I'm pretty sure the citizens pay these individuals to come and clean up. And they just have refused to do it. This street was full of trash, wild shrubberies. As you see in the woods out there, all kind of bottles where people have dumped, all kind of old logs. But yet and still, they can come and harass you and try to intimidate you, but they won't do their job, what they're getting paid for, for by taxpayers' money. This goes all the way back to a dead-end street. And in this dead-end street was a dumping ground. When we took possession of this property, we notified Tacoma Park of this. And their administration of park and planning has done nothing. And this is their property. And they refuse to come out here and clean this up. But they can go around 
and find other people telling them that their property is not clean and they're violating code infraction and everything but yet and still they're not cleaning up their own property this is crazy This is where deer and wildlife run. You have bottles, you have trash, and as you see, this isn't something just happened. This is over years that they have neglected this area. Instead of turning it over to a uh, department that will come out here and clean it up, they take taxpayers' money and refuse to do their job and line their pockets with it. From the mayor's office to the chief of police, who was once a member of the Montgomery County Park and Planning. This is a, a creek or a ravine full of trash. Full of trash. Where the water runs off from the streets into this ravine with all kind of trash. But yet and still, these individuals tell their city people that they're doing their job. As you can see, some of this trash has been here for years. It's starting to go settle into the soil. This is a forestry kind of area where deer live, all kind of wild animals live, and where two-legged animals come and dump their garbage. As you can see, that orange is a net from a construction company. So stuff so old, it's starting to grow into the ground. They got cinder blocks. But the Potomac, the Como Park, Park and Planning Administration just refused to send hardworking guys out here to do the job and pay them because they're lining their pockets with the money. From the mayor to the chief of police. And as you can see, from this water, there's some kind of chemical in this water. It's doing come running off. All this is in this area. I'm on a deer path now. You got tires. And 
And I guess they say out of sight, out of mind, nobody complains about it. So they don't feel they need to do nothing about it. But the wild animals, while I'm here, we have a spokesman. Got wood all the way down here by the wall. Old chairs. This un this, this is uncalled for. And there's something in this water. This is some kind of chemical. It's floating down through here. This shit is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Hey. They can go around and harass people. There's some white shit right over there settled at the bottom of the water. Now I got a drain off right here from my house. It's draining off right into the motherfucking water. This shit crazy here. They got wire, barbed wire and shit. They got a drain pipe they don't dug from the house that runs right into the creek. Got boys and shit. I don't know if they're shooting back here. What the fuck they doing? Those white people, they do what they want to do. Because ain't nobody watching. Got bed. That's an old bed under a tree. Another drain off from these houses. Illegally making drain offs from their homes into this water creek. That's what they doing. But nobody's around here monitoring this. So they do what they want to do. They don't dug pipes from their house to run into that creek. And that's probably what that, what that foam shit is. All kind of grease and shit. But if code enforcement, the police, the administration of Tacoma Park would do their job and come out here and get out of their little offices and suit up their boots and walk through here, they would see all this. But all they want is a tire, oil, is the money. And be re-elected saying they're doing their job. When they're really not doing the job until people get out and put this camera on them then they get upset look here tires
tires. Chairs. Got sofa. There's a deer now right there. Hello, girl girls. Whole lot of them right there. Look at them. Whole nest of deers. Sad. Got to live in this field. Have to live in this field. What humans have made. And then we pay the government to come out here and keep this place clean and safe and find these people and they don't because they're so greedy for money corrupt this is a company that has put all the trash right here on the agriculture's property where the deer live and you telling me the parking planning and the administration of Tacoma Park has not come out here and saw this and ordered these people to clean it up and find them to clean it up. This is crazy. But they can come and harass law-abiding citizens who's trying to make a difference. <laughs> because they don't want a difference. They want the same. As long as nobody's watching them, they want to continuously rob the citizens of Tacoma Park. And from my understanding, Montgomery County, Park and Planning of Montgomery County, Agriculture, has been fighting with Tacoma Park to take possession of this property. And they don't want to give it to them. Because I'm pretty sure they're receiving money saying they're cleaning this property up. This is crazy. Well, the camera's on them now. And we're going to be watching. And we're going to go to Montgomery County City Council county executive and to the people to get this area cleaned up for the wildlife that's in it. This don't make no sense. Yeah. They had cameras out here in Tacoma Park. Came and took the cameras out to catch these people dumping all this stuff in these woods. This is why we say film the government officials in everything they do. Look at all these bottles. Man. I'm pretty sure if this was their home, they wouldn't want it like this. This is where the deer live at. Somebody dump oil right here in the tires. Somebody came and throw their shrubbery right here. But yet and still, they could run around and take taxpayers' money and say they're doing a the job. And harass people who they feel is a threat to their corruption. People at Tacoma Park should put a stop to this. The citizens should put a stop to this. And start impeaching their government officials who refuse to do what they elected them to do.
They talk about they a green town, but how can you be a green town when you got all this garbage in your little forestry, in your green town? Where the deer gotta be careful where they run at, cause they might break an ankle running over garbage. And the point is this, what they don't want to do is pay the workers. That's what it is. Give them their minimum pay so they don't work overtime. Cleaning up this mess. And that's ridiculous right there. That house has made pipe structures from his home into that ravine, dumping water into it. And I'm pretty sure if you somebody walk the, the line, they will find more of these houses doing the same thing. Dumping water from their homes into this creek. I'm pretty sure that's a criminal act. I'm gonna have to look that up, but I think that's a criminal act for them to do that because they dug it and they put it underground. And they're pretty sure these individuals don't come back here and check. So that's why they feel they could do it. Dumping water from your home into a ravine. All this bottles and bricks that people have dropped. Over the years, where the deer live at. Time for a change. Time for a change. This is March the 20th, 2021.